Hi, this is Dan Cordopassi of TSG Multimedia. Today I'm reviewing an HO scale SD24 locomotive from Atlas. My example is decorated in the Santa Fe zebra stripe scheme, which was in use between 1950 and 1960. Santa Fe 921 was from a group of SD24s that were built in 1959 and lasted only a short time with the small Santa Fe lettering on the side. In 1960, Santa Fe started replacing the small lettering with the larger billboard style logo. My model is from a 2010 release. At the time, the MSRP for the DCC Ready version was $134.95. The same model with DCC and sound installed had an MSRP of $254.95. The paint on the model is very thin and smooth. The markings are crisp. The zebra stripes are nicely done, with gaps in the silver only at panel seams. The other markings all look good, and the few small stencils are legible with magnification. The trucks have brake lines. Breather pipes appear on both sides of the model. The handrails are made of a flexible plastic. A few of the stanchions are slightly crooked, a common problem with plastic handrails. A parts bag is included with sunshades for modelers wishing to use them. The pilots are equipped with period-correct uncoupling levers and footboards as well as MU hoses and a trainline air hose. I like the keep-off stencils above the MU hoses. The end railings are included in a separate parts bag to be installed by the modeler. The drop steps are operable. The class lights have clear lenses but do not operate. The rear ladders are also left to the modeler to install. Both ends are equipped with plastic knuckle couplers. Each coupler was at the correct height according to the KD height gauge. The top of the model has nicely done see-through fans. The characteristic SD24 air reservoir cluster is mounted behind the cab. As with some other details, the air horn is included in the parts bag for the modeler to install. The real Santa Fe SD24s had a half-round antenna plane and antenna mounted just above the headlight. This detail is not present on the model. Some modelers might want to add that with aftermarket parts. Detail on the underside of the model is fairly minimal. All 12 wheels pick up electricity, and all six axles are powered. All of the wheels are in gauge according to the NMRA standards gauge. My model weighs 13.4 ounces. I was able to register 3.1 ounces of drawbar pull on my force gauge. I'm running it on DC. It's very smooth and quiet with good low speed capability. I'll hold it so we can take a look at the lights. The number boards come on with the lights. The inside of the model has a removable 8 pin DCC dummy plug for people wanting to add a decoder. It also has provision for speakers if you want to add a sound decoder. Overall this is a very nice model that runs well. Atlas has done a good job capturing the look of the as-delivered appearance of its early SD24s. Many Santa Fe modelers interested in the late 1950s or early 1960s era would probably like to have a few of these on their layout. This is a very solid effort from Atlas. My final verdict is 10 out of 10 spikes.